finally got a, a pathway to a return. Uh, must be a, a great relief and a bit of excitement amongst the, the group. Yeah, it, it adds that extra bit of excitement uh, when, when the draws finally uh, release. So I think we uh, thankfully we're heading towards this scenario um, from what we heard along the way. Um, and yeah, it's uh, look can't come quick enough. I think I oh, look yesterday it was 30 days on on the nose as of uh, yesterday. So before our, our first game, um, and there, there was that extra bit of buzz there today. Yeah, so in wet weather, it was good to have a bit of energy. There's um, a fixture out, but we know that given the current climate with border restrictions, etc., that there's a little bit of uncertainty as to when you might play the matches at home. Yeah. So again, we we, we plan for different scenarios there, and uh, certainly looking to park up. Um, on the East Coast for those first two or three rounds. Uh, but yeah, what would, uh, it's obviously out of our hands, but it'd be nice to get back and, um, uh, and go back to back home games like uh, it was released today. You know, four in a row would be great to have here in Perth. You're going to be competitive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I think what, what we can gauge ourselves on there is how we performed in the, the National Rugby Championship the last couple of years when we do play against squads um, that do have a lot of super rugby contracted players in it and we, we perform really well and uh, that, that's what we're gauging ourselves on. They also have some top up players uh, who weren't available, they're Wallaby players but uh, we also had a lot of players out last year when we won the championship so yeah, do it. Uh, we will be without a doubt. What's the end game for you guys this season? Yeah, I, th I think uh, yeah we, we get get through this this tournament um, and uh, proper good show. I think one, first and foremost we, we just want to um, play for Perth and WA uh, in this tournament, and uh, the back end of that uh, later in the year we'll see see what uh, that brings, and also what 2020 uh, sorry 2021 brings because that'll determine what we do late in the year. How much does rugby in this country need this competition to succeed? Given been through a fairly tumultuous time in the last few months and even a couple of years. Ago. Yeah, I think everyone's desperate for it from, from the players. Uh, all the clubs need it, the fans need it. Uh, you know, we need stuff back on TV, so it's, it's crucial. Um, you know, the, the guys are desperate to play. It's, it's their job. It's what they train you know, three, three, four months for to, to finally play some games. So this having the Western Force back in the competition is crucial um, in a national competition, playing against the the other, um, the other clubs within Australia is really, really important as well and um, I think what's going to be great for our guys is that they're going to be in front of eyeballs um, for Wallaby selections as well. In terms of quality of games, what are your expectations? Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be high quality uh, and I think you know, the, the way the, the, the Brumbies and probably the Reds were tracking towards the end of uh, Super Rugby competition, they were playing really good footy as were the other side. So. Standard, I expect to be very high. Um, you know, it's going to be littered with with uh, Wallaby players, and those first couple of rounds that uh, we don't know what we're going to get. It's, it's been a long time between drinks, but um, you know, I think uh, enthusiasm and energy will, will certainly uh, um, play a part in, in good performances from all the sides. What can Force fans expect in terms of recruitment over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I, I think I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that there's there's been so much player movement worldwide. Um, and it's, yeah, we, we've been contacted by numerous players and, and player managers, but um, yeah, I think over yeah, there might be some good news over the next few days for us, and um, yeah, it's, we, we just uh, leave, leave that for a few days, and we're still 30 days out, and if guys do join us, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty good prep time for them, four weeks leading. How crucial is that to get a bit more experience in, given that there's a pretty inexperienced squad? Uh, in, inexperienced in, in terms of playing against... Um, you know, the, the Wallaby players, I think some guys haven't had that opportunity yet, but um, we're, we're, we're very comfortable with in terms of uh, our experience internally and we know how we can play and, and what is ex, um, needed and required to, to compete against these teams. And do you know what the rule changes are yet? Yeah, uh, I think they're coming out early next week, um, but that, I think there's a couple there that uh, mirror the, the New Zealand competition. Uh, which will be released soon, but uh, it's exciting. It's, it's, it'll be good for viewers, it'll be good for the players. Uh, thankfully, uh, we've we're, we're played under a couple already uh, in Rapid Rugby and, and even NRC. So, mm. Very interesting you say that some of them <coughs> are Rapid Rugby changes. Were you a party to the, con the, the conference and the chats you've had about these law changes? Yeah, and there have been lengthy uh, conversations with um, the, the other Super Rugby head coaches. Um, some players were involved in that as well, um, so it's it's exciting, um, and, and we did um, you know propose a couple that have been um, played under Rapid Rugby 
laws the last couple of years, and it's it's uh, great to see that they've uh, they're going to be part of this competition. I just thought for yourself, and a lot said about you know how the players have been, but your own journey here is, is just the same. I mean, you took a big step to come here in the first place once Andrew and Hojo spoke to you as a step into the, uh, to the unknown, and then you went through Indo Pacific, name change after name change, roadblocks were thrown up. You got over those. You finally get to the to the, the, the comp, and that's another roadblock. That's cancelled. That's quite a journey for you. Yeah, and no, I think uh, yeah, back to day one when, when Andrew called me, his long-term vision and, and uh, was what impressed me and, and what got me here. It was a was a big decision uh, to make to come here, but um, you know, have belief in someone like Andrew and Matt Hodgson has been outstanding as well uh, with, with the work he's put into the club over the last couple of years. So. You know, you, you, you work with these guys who are highly motivated. Um, they've got great vision with where the club wants to go and it's great to be a part of. Some of the Eastern States have started a little mind game saying, oh, our force has been together a long time, but effectively you've only had one game, they've had seven. Yeah, that's right, and, and we've discussed that. It's, uh, we, you know, in terms of games this year, yes, we, we uh, probably do go in underdone. Uh, two trials and one, one rapid rugby fixture. So. Yeah, I think coming back though, we're probably all on even par. It's been a long time since since we all played. Um, so the, the preparation for this tournament's crucial and we're very happy with how we're tracking. You're going to set up camp for the first couple of weeks, I think, near Newcastle. Has that come about because of the link you had with them pre-season? Or, you know, we had the trial match there and there's been a fairly close relationship with the Hunter Valley and the Newcastle Rugby Union, isn't it? Yeah, that, the Hunter Valley been great and uh, the... the um, they're very accommodating and, and welcoming to us, and it, it's, uh, we've formed some good relationships with them, yes. So it's a good area. Uh, it's a good rugby heartland as well. They love their rugby there. So it'd be great to be uh, in and amongst that area, uh, region again, yeah. And if you're looking at the draw, if you do get home games, home home games, at five weeks at home, it's not a bad draw if you can do that, is it? Yeah, that'd be great, and uh, hopefully you know, things are tracking well here throughout the community and, and crowds are allowed back in at that stage. That'll be a, a great result for, for the Western Force and WA Rugby to get the crowds back watching, uh, watching the Force this year.